complete darkness has fallen upon us here tonight. Today was the day millions have been waiting for. The total solar eclipse came and went through the country, including central Illinois. Good evening. I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Hundreds of thousands in our viewing area waited for it to dim for a few minutes. From Springfield to Urbana, Mattoon, those are just a few of the places where people gathered to watch the historic event. Now, we begin our eclipse coverage about two and a half hours south in McLeansboro. Thousands headed there to be on the line of totality today, and that includes our meteorologists Kevin Lighty, Jacob Dickey, and Chris Yates. And as our chief tells us, even seasoned weather veterans were treated to a wow factor event today. McLeansboro, Illinois. It was the center for totality. We were down here earlier this afternoon witnessing one of the most unique things anyone can experience in person. And listen, it did not disappoint. On what turned out to be a nice clear blue sky, hardly any clouds out there, we were able to witness something that only one in about 10,000 people uh, get to see. And that is totality occurring during a solar eclipse. We brought some of these images to you as the moon passed directly in front of the sun, causing that amazing corona to be seen awesome view there and what we call the diamond ring that comes across in Bailey's beads. This is what it looked like to the naked eye here as darkness fell upon us. It was pretty wild to see just how dark things actually got in the five minutes leading up to totality, which occurred around two o'clock this afternoon. Now, again, another unique experience was the temperature drop. We had an eight to nine degree temperature drop when totality occurred. And that was one of the things as a meteorologist that uh, was really unique to kind of experience. But it didn't take long, things returned to normal. And as you can see, things now, you wouldn't even know that an uh, eclipse occurred here earlier this afternoon. People came from far and wide, all across, not just locally, but they traveled from other states and even other countries to experience this with friends and family. And we got to experience that as well with so many, and we hope that you guys got to tune in to see it as well. If not, of course, you can see our coverage online at WCIA.com and see more of the amazing pictures from today. From McLeansboro, I'm WCA3 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Lighty. Now the next solar eclipse to cross the continental U.S. will be 2045. Kevin says he hopes to see that one as well.